Hey guys, this is Jack and welcome to this video from FPV Academy. Today we'll be showing you guys how to do a flip with your quadcopter along with some common errors and how you can fix them. We'll then go into the liftoff FPV simulator and see how we can practice flips on there before we go out and try it in real life. It's extremely important to learn how to do these tricks flawless because they are the building blocks into more advanced maneuvers. The progression of the flip is fairly easy. In this video we'll start off doing slow flips just like this. We'll then move into faster flips with a slow down ending. After that we'll be doing fast flips. And finally we'll move into half flips. I'm not sure if these are the right names but that's just what I'm calling them for this video. So let's get right into it. Firstly it's really important to know how you should be practicing these flips. When practicing flips you want to make sure that you always have an upwards momentum before you initiate the flip. If you don't have an upwards momentum and start to flip your quad will fall out of the sky really really quickly. Secondly, it's important to have air mode on so that you can do the flip at zero throttle. If you don't do these flips at zero throttle, then there's a good chance you'll crash your quad by accidentally doing an extremely advanced maneuver, the power loop. So to simplify it, you want to punch the throttle for just over a second so it generates the upwards momentum, then cut the throttle completely and only then start with the flip. Alright, so now that we know how to practice our flips, let's look at the progression. Your first step would be to do a really, really slow flip. Because these flips are slow, make sure you have a lot of altitude so it gives you enough time to fix it if you mess it up. So what you want to do is make sure that you can see the horizon in front of you. I especially film this using the ocean as my horizon to make it a bit easier. After you've generated the upwards momentum and closed your throttle, start pitching your quad back really slowly until you can start to see the horizon creeping out in front of you again. Congrats, you've done your first flip. Now next, do the exact same thing but start pitching your quad forward so that you do a front flip. It's important to practice doing flips forward and backwards equally as much so that you don't develop a preferred direction to flip. You should be equally proficient in doing front and back flips. Keep practicing your flips really slowly, just like this, until you're able to do them flawlessly, stopping the horizon in the center after every flip. Once you've mastered the slow flip, you'll want to start doing them faster. However, instead of doing the entire flip as fast as you can though, you want to do about 75% of the flip really fast, but then ease out of it for the last 25%. This becomes a little bit more tricky because your stick control will start to show you. It's a considerable amount more difficult than a slow flip, but just keep practicing it. Easing out of flips can not only be used to progress into the fast flip, but you'll actually be using this technique in flying freestyle since it makes your flying appear a lot smoother. The same as before, do one front flip and then one back flip, easing out of the three quarters through the way. Once you're fairly confident with your faster flips, let's move on to the next progression. Finally, we'll start doing the fast flip in one single stick movement. This becomes a lot trickier than before because a lot of times the quad moves so quickly that you can't see the horizon move out in front of you again. This is just where stick time and knowledge of your quad comes in. You need to be confident with your quad and know it really well to be able to do these faster flips flawlessly. It pretty much becomes a guessing game at first, getting a feel for it and developing that now instinct where your brain just tells you to stop the flip because it's most likely about to be done. Just keep doing these as much as you can until you're able to stop the flip at least 3 out of 4 times really close to the horizon again. One common mistake which I also still struggle with is that I tend to overcorrect my pitch when I stop the flip. This results in a wobble effect on your quad which sometimes looks like an unshoot quad with a very low pitch B and D. However, this is not the case. Instead, it's just me overcorrecting the pitch creating that effect. This is exactly where easing out of the flip comes into play as well. But instead of starting to ease out at 75% through the flip, you want to ease out at about 95% of the flip, only slowing down the last 5% of the maneuver. This is really really difficult, but once you've nailed it, your flips will become extremely smooth. Even if you are an advanced pilot, you can still keep practicing this as well, there's always room for improvement. Finally, as a little more advanced bonus move, you can start practicing your stall flips. This is where you do half a flip, stall it for half a second or more upside down and then completing it. It's pretty much the same as a fast flip, instead you're doing half a fast flip into half a fast flip. Once you're able to do this, we'll move into things such as inverted yaw spins and so forth. Now as always, before you go out and try these in real life, you want to be able to do all of this on the liftoff FPV simulator. If you don't mind crashing and breaking your quad, then by all means skip the sim and head out to go fly. So once you're on liftoff, you can pretty much use any track you like where you can see the horizon. Straw bales is a good track for this. So the same as before, just practice these maneuvers in the same sequence of progression. Once you're able to do all four types of flips flawlessly, you can move on to try it out in real life. 
Now thank you guys a ton for watching this video. If you've learned anything then don't forget to subscribe for bi-weekly how to fly FPV videos. We also started our live streams this week and we'll always be doing more in-depth live stream on the how to fly FPV topic of the video. So check out our Facebook page if you want to stay up to date on these live streams. Also, if you are new to FPV and need some guidance and help on your flying, then check out our Patreon page. Our Patreon supporters can submit one of their videos every month for us to have a look at and do a write-up on it, helping you out with your flying. Becoming a Patreon supporter also gives you access to the FPV Academy Slack group, where we help you become better FPV pilots. You can also suggest topics for the live streams and a whole lot of other really cool perks. Now for the rest of this video, I'll just be flying around my local beach just enjoying the little marvel that is an FPV quadcopter. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you guys later. This is Jack, signing off.